Thanks for tuning in to the Spiritual Spotlight Podcast. My name is Stephen Lewis, and in five minutes or less, I plan on encouraging and uplifting you with Bible verses, my personal writings, and more to give you a spiritual boost to your day. So get ready, because the spotlight is being turned on. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another episode as we continue on with the second week of 2024. Hope you're encouraged, hopefully you're strengthened, and you are determined to get whatever changes you want done in this year started off on a good note. Steve Lewis here. Thanks for tuning in to the episode. And if you're just joining us for the first time, hey, Happy New Year. Welcome to watching and listening to Spiritual Spotlight Podcast Show, as well as our other shows. So here we go. New Year 2024. I'm going to be shining the spotlight on one of my writings to encourage you and strengthen you for this year. So some of you have flown on airplanes, and when you arrive at the airport, you have to check in your baggage because you cannot fly with larger bags, which have to be stored under the plane. Makes sense? My encouragement for you today is, as we step into a new year, I want to urge you to leave all your baggage behind back in 2023. Some of you listening to this right now know exactly what I'm saying. Those things that you beat yourself up over. Past hurts, sin that you already repented for, people who you have made amends with, mistakes you have made, and so forth. You can fill in the blanks with whatever may be bothering you. Remember, the goal of the enemy is to defeat you and keep you from being who you are in Christ. So that's where the battle of the minds come in, where you're thinking, you know, I failed as a kid. I was a knucklehead. That's me, Steve Lewis. I was a knucklehead growing up. There's some things in my life I wish I could take away that I can't, moved on, changed my ways, and moving forward, you know, forgiveness, all that good stuff has been given to me, not only by God, but by people as well, been blessed, been truly blessed, very humble, will forgive anybody because I've been forgiven, amen? So as I step into 2024, what am I looking at? I'm looking at fresh new start. I'm looking at, okay, I've made amends with everybody that I've hurt in my life. I've made amends with the Lord. I'm staying focused on my calling, and I'm doing what the Lord called me to do. Reach souls for him. I'm a vessel. That's how I roll. But remember, the goal of the enemy, like I said, is to defeat you and keep you from being who you are in Christ. It's the battle of the minds. It's the, I'm a failure. No, you're not a failure. If you've asked Jesus Christ into your life, you are a new babe in Christ. You're a new creation. Old things are passed away. All things are made new. And my point is, you need to let things go and cast all your cares on the Lord and walk in peace. 1 Peter 5, 6 through 11 reads, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself Restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. To him be the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Amen? The enemy's trying to get you, right? Spirit realm. Things are going on in the spirit realm. We've talked about that. We've talked about Ephesians 6 and putting on the whole armor of God before. But humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that you will prosper, so that at the proper time he may exalt you. Casting all your anxieties on him, that's where it's at, because he cares for you. Remember that. He cares for you. He loves you. He loves you enough. Our Heavenly Father loves you enough to send Jesus down. Jesus raised from the dead, went to be with the Father. You now have the Holy Spirit within you. You have the Comforter within you, folks. Remember that as a follower of Jesus Christ. And so today, my brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you to step into this new year with a clear mind. Leave the past in the past. Make amends, though. Don't just say, well, that was in the past. I hurt people's feelings. Oh, well, get over it. No, make amends with people. Make sure they know that you don't think you're all that in a bag of chips. Love them. 
write, make amends, forgive, and be strengthened in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Hey, let's go ahead and pray. So, Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for being able to share another message of encouragement in this new year. My prayer is that all my listeners will be blessed and encouraged and strengthened, that they'll focus on you, they'll put their cares on you, and that they'll start off a new day, a new season, 2024, a new life ahead of them. I pray right now for all of them to have peace in their home, to love you and to know you as their Savior and Lord. And I just thank you so much for all these things in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. Hey, folks, there you have it. Thank you so much for listening. As always, I appreciate you all being there. It's a new year, a new day, a new season. Hey, with that being said, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share with friends, family, and even a stranger. Love you and appreciate you so much. Don't forget to leave us a rating on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Hey, with that being said, God bless. Love you all. Take care of yourselves. Peace.